New developments tonight in an international custody case that has two Brazilian grandparents facing kidnapping charges right here in Houston. In an explosive new document tonight, the couple's legal team is asking a judge to throw the case out before it even gets to trial. Our Marcelino Benito explains why. To try to criminalize two people like this is it's just insane. High profile defense attorney Rusty Hardin says his clients, Carlos and Jemima Guimarães, are not criminally liable for their daughter Marcelli's actions. He's asking a judge to throw out the international kidnapping and conspiracy case against the two Brazilian grandparents. Dr. Brand's dispute is with the wife. He shouldn't be trying to hold the grandparents as hostage. And that's what he's doing. And that's what the government's helping him do. The new 25-page motion to dismiss is the latest chapter in a five-year saga that began when Marcelli Guimarães took her son Nico to Brazil for a wedding, but never returned. Nico's father, Dr. Chris Brand, has been fighting to bring him back to Houston ever since. The last thing that they want is for a jury to hear the facts of this case. In the motion, the defense cites findings by a Brazilian federal judge that Brand had admitted he was a sex addict who could not control compulsion or violent mood swings and was, quote, psychologically unstable. This was addressed in a court of law here in Texas and found conclusions of law, facts of the case, were that everything that they alleged against me was false and made with malice. Brand says this motion is about smearing his name. They're trying to get this out of the courtroom and in the court of public opinion. Horton and his legal team won't comment on Brand's fitness as a father, choosing to keep the focus on their clients. They say the grandparents have never had any control over Nico. The judge in Brazil specifically ordered the child could not leave Brazil, the state in which he lived, without his mother. These grandparents couldn't even decide what that kid ate for breakfast. For now, Carlos and Jemima Guimarães remain out on bond as both parties wait to see what a judge will decide on this latest motion. They really are trying to uh, manipulate the facts of this case, but that's why this needs to go to trial. This has no business being in federal court. It has no business being in a criminal court. And hopefully, when a jury hears all the evidence, they'll reach the same conclusion. Now, it's unclear how a judge will rule on this motion, and I can tell you he has no timetable to make a decision. Meanwhile, this case is set to go to trial on May 7th. We're live near downtown tonight. I'm Marcelino Benito, KHOU 11 News.